All right, boys and girls, we are on the back side of Lesson 6's homework. And number two tells us, read each digital scale. Those are my dogs in the background. Write each weight using the word kilogram or gram for each measurement. So we're looking here at this basket of fruit, and we see 3 kg. I know that the kg is representing kilogram. That's where we're getting kg from. So on my line, I am going to write three kilograms. Basket of laundry is six kg. Just like our basket of fruit, kg is representing kilograms. So again, I am going to write six kilograms. You can hear my dog barking in the background. This is why I don't bring them to school. Here we have a basket, a bucket of flour. The flour is written as 450 grams. G is representing grams. So on my paper, I am going to write 450 grams to represent the flower. Going down to the next row, we have a bowl or a vase of flowers, different than our flower up here that we cook with. So I'm going to look at 907 G. G to me means, you say it, if you said grams, you are correct. So I'm going to move over here and I'm going to type 907 grams. You're going to write 907 grams. Next, we have a sad looking dog. And I happen to have a sad looking dog in my lap right now. She probably weighs about the same as the dog on this scale. We have 11 kg. Let's go back up here and remind ourselves what KG stands for. What does it stand for? Say it out loud. If you said kilograms, you are correct. So I am going to label this picture as 11 kilograms. Last, we have a lamp. If I look at the scale, it's telling me it weighs 1 kg. Write down on your paper what 1 kg means. Did you write down 1 kilogram? If you did, you are correct. This completes your math homework for tonight. I'll see you all bright and early tomorrow.